Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther Franchuk and I'm a professional artist and painter. Uh, we just came back from our Europe trip back to Ukraine, uh, to Ushgorod, uh, my hometown where we live right now with my husband. I'm so excited that I got to witness uh, spring here in Ushgorod. Like the fan fact, I was like really uh, not sure, like I was really intimidating going on the Europe trip because it was really getting closer to the sakura uh, japanese cherry blossom time here and i never like if you live here you never want to miss it because it's just so beautiful like the whole town becomes pink like there's like streets and streets of pink blossoming trees and it just really um yeah it's really like magical time and everything in the air is just so romantic and i don't know it's like you're in the middle of the fairy tale inside of the fairy tale and it just really inspirational to me so i'm happy that as we are back the trees are still blooming it's still there and the first thing after arrival we just went outside and make pictures and i collected some source material and we made some shots so i'm i'm really happy that it's warm and it's beautiful and yeah i i feel like it's going to be a really nice time like really beautiful spring here and I'm getting more and more pumped up for the new work that I'm going to create in this time. Uh, a lot of inspiration coming from the colors I see outside. As I switch to the abstract art, I feel like a lot of my work now going to be like really intensifying, like really uh, praising the color in a way. It's like really using the color in the ways that I didn't think of color before. So I'm excited to see how this new inspiration and new setting um, in the nature and in the town and just the whole atmosphere how it's going to impact uh, the next pieces that I'm going to be working on. So right now we are in my studio and I will show you guys what I'm working on, what's going on in here, like latest project, everything in progress and yeah, just all kind of stuff that's going on in the studio. So these two pieces are uh, addition to my travel miniature release. Those are actually the newest and they're like least uh, far away in the progress. So this one is what I was telling that it's like being influenced by the colors of the spring and all of the cherry blossoms and so on. I really wanted to keep it um, in the pinks and purples and some green uh, as the leaves, it like remind me of flowers. So far both of them just have acrylics but I kind of like um, the direction and like the color palette so I think I will move to oils um, next and this one is not so much the spring but it's more like towards summer because you know spring is um, always comes before summer and I grew up on the coast so I really when it gets a little bit more warm I'm already thinking of the sea and swimming and beaches and all kind of things and we don't have it here but um, they're gonna go to Greece I wanted to do something else with this painting, but then when I started adding blue, it just really felt like a coastal piece. So I, I really loving the color palette and the direction it's going. So this one is also still in acrylic, but already really far along. And I'm gonna switch to oil soon. This is just the piece that sold from the previous release. And I was waiting to ship it because um, we needed another frame. So yeah, now it's fully framed in the floater frame and we're gonna ship it one of these days and yeah, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with the quality of floater frames that they produce here in Ukraine. Like they used to not have anything like that at all, like no gallery wrap canvases, no floater frames. And this is just a really small business that make 
frames from the natural wood and I found it on Instagram through the ads and it's just the most outstanding quality you can find for this kind of product so I'm like really really happy with those frames so yeah ads do work apparently and they help you find good stuff so um, I'm happy about that this one is linen and as you see the frame is just amazing the quality is super good and we already attach hanging hardware it also has some inbuilt hanging hardware which is super cool that they think about it but we attach the string the wire as well so yeah that's how it looks from the back still have to sign yeah so this one is off to go these days and two other ones that sold from the abstract release we already shipped so yay that's exciting only one piece left from this new series which is the um, wrapped up in blues over there yeah so this is the last piece available from the whole release um, yeah I really really love this piece and also the frame for it just arrived um, it's just simple white frame, but it fits with the blue colors the best, so I really love it. And you can see also some of the pieces from the travels drying there. Those pieces are the pieces that I brought with me into our Europe trip. So I started them here in the studio just with collage and then I worked on them in Budapest, in the park and around and coffee shops and also I work with them in Switzerland during workshops and in between. So I now just finishing them with uh, oils and they kind of like once I started adding oils they went like all over the place and they're a color palette like I had a color palette that I went with um, as I was working in acrylic in the trip but when I returned back to the studio I realized like I start adding these oils to many new colors, which sometimes happens to me because I just love color. I'm obsessed with color. So this one is the most neutral one so far. And I'm holding myself on, on this one, just not to go too crazy too fast again. But um, I mean, I really love how they're going. I feel like I just have to take um, a bit more time as uh, I'm still discovering my process with abstract art and sometimes um, it comes easier sometimes it takes a bit longer to see which colors work together which ones are not so i'm still in the process of figuring this out but um, yeah i think they are close to finishing but i have to work with color a lot still so as you can see something has to go love all of them all the colors but this is just too much so <laughs> i have to bring them to some compromise stage this time i'm a bit smarter so i order frames for them right when we started our journey so they were made and they arrived and i didn't finish them yet but they're already here, so I can already like imagine how they would go into the frame. And the cool thing about floater frames, like those canvases, they're like thinner, they're not gallery wrapped because I didn't have so much space in my suitcase to bring big canvases. But as they go into the gallery, um, into the floater frame, like because of the thick edge and everything, they look exactly the same as gallery wrapped canvases. So this is just super cool to know that this is the end result. Another exciting thing, I finally hired a graphic designer and I did um, print all of the marketing collateral and all of the branding, little details, uh, stickers and certificates of authenticity. So this is an example of how um, it all looks together now, packaged. Uh, it's a little package that comes together with uh, original paintings and um, has a thank you note and all of the little tiny important things that just make it more beautiful and more um, nice experience when you open the package and you receive a painting. This huge painting is also finally finished. I worked 
on it for a really long time and it took also a lot of extra time drying in between the stages. So now it's finished and it will dry for a bit more and then I'm gonna varnish it and I'm actually really happy with the color palette. I kept it really uh, limited, which I love, but I still have a lot of uh, different shades and nuances. What helped me actually is just I was constantly buying purple flowers uh, every time I see purple flowers in the city and I would just put them next to the palette and like just around me and because I was like I really want a purple painting I really want a purple painting like a purple and gold painting so I was like keep surrounding myself with like all of the beautiful purple things and apparently it worked it influenced this painting a lot and it has this really gentle lilac shades um, which makes it I feel like really special and really different from my normal color palettes and I really love how it turned out thank you so much for watching uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the new videos I, I make videos on art and traveling and creativity and all kind of things so stay tuned for the next vlog